Dear students and colleagues, it's my great pleasure to place in your hands the ninth edition of Essentials of Medical In preparing this edition, the book has been entirely revisited from A to Z, and all chapters have been thoroughly updated. The latest information about mechanisms of action and other aspects have been included. And most of the recently introduced drugs that are big parties have also been included, along with the, what role they are playing now in therapeutics. The primary objective of this book has been to provide authenticated and contemporary knowledge about drugs. Not only the listing of drugs for a disease, but also what is their role in the treatment of uh, diseases. This is to be based on evidence-based medicine. Like there is a lot of emphasis on evidence-based medicine, that we take the decisions, therapeutic decisions, according to the evidence that is available in the clinical trials and other studies. So many professional bodies have taken up the job of developing therapeutic guidelines, and they revise it from time to time. Now, these guidelines, latest versions of them, are included in. Another distinctive feature of the book is India-specific information, particularly in the field of drugs which are used in natural programs, like the tuberculosis, like treatment of leprosy, HIV, AIDS, for which we have got national programs, malaria, Ganazar, so, so many national programs. And you must be aware how the, uh, these diseases are treated under the national program. And the regimens and drugs that are used are included there with great thought of the existing condition and the uh, prevailing situation in the country. So that kind of India-specific information, along with the prevalence of the disease, or what is the current status of the disease, what is the state of uh, resistance in different parts of the country, that is also achieved in some of the parts. Contemporary information is provided in the book. Every effort has been made. And there is a chapter included on drug addiction and abuse. Now, that is a very important uh, aspect presently. So the book has been so designed to cover competency-based curriculum. So the book is designed in a way to be very user-friendly with hierarchically arranged headings and sub -headings. The abbreviations have been given chapter-wise so that it becomes really convenient for the uh, reader to consult or to see what is meant by these reach. So I feel that this book will remain useful to you, not only in passing examinations, but also remain a com good companion in the clinical setting when you treat diseases with this, I invite your suggestions and comments and wish you best of luck.